two, three. <clears throat> All right, YouTube, what's up? It's me, Minnick. Here, okay, yeah, I just don't care. Volume. It's black as fuck. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Minnick here. It's uh, been a while. <laughs> but uh, today, I wanted to talk about a certain situation that happened a bit ago. Um, that people are starting to talk about now. If you don't know, popular streamer, I Show Speed, uh, has gotten himself into quite a bit of controversy uh, lately. And um, I wanted to talk about it because I think that this really shows how two-faced a lot of people are and a lot of people who use Twitter are. Why do I say that? Um, it's because, like, for one... I think a lot of people who are complaining about the whole I show speed thing don't actually play like online video games like at all right which is like fine don't get me wrong but like it's a perfect example of people who know nothing about a certain subject trying to like speak about a subject and it comes off as just really cringy and no maybe not cringy but like Anyone who's played video games, even casually, an example, like COD, like, actually not even COD, because people use COD all the time. I'll use a different one, for example. If you play any fighting game, say Brawlhalla, okay, that's a that's like think one of the most popular fighting games on Steam right now. That game is extremely toxic. Like, right? Like, bro, oh, great crap. That game is extremely toxic. Toxicity has been a part of of games for like years now and to like just like it's it's very weird that like people you know who obviously either don't play video games or even if they do play video game it's like it's weird for them to act like this is some sort of anomaly like people have never been toxic in video games before but even besides that like so what what speed said i wouldn't like i guess defend what speed said I wouldn't say, like, it's right. Of course it's wrong. But, like, it doesn't matter. That's kind of my argument. It doesn't matter. What Speed said, no matter what somebody would like to think, it doesn't harm anybody. Like, at the end of the day, it's not harming anybody. And, like, I like we know it's not harming anybody. Because, guess what? If the girl felt like she was being harmed, guess what she would have done? She would have muted him. Every single video game has a mute feature. Every single one, every single online video game has some sort of mute block feature. You know, every single one that has voice chat, it has a mute feature. So if this girl was, you know, if she was so offended and so, you know, belittled by Speed's comments, which, you know what, she, she had all rights to be, whatever, she would have muted him. But guess what? She didn't. And, you know, you could say that, oh, you shouldn't have to mute anybody or you, this shouldn't ever be tolerated. But, like, to be honest, like, who cares? It's not an actual issue because, like, it's just not. So what? He shouldn't have said the things that he said. Sure, they were wrong, but he's not harming anybody. And to, like, act like he's, like, he's, like, this terrible person because he, he went on Valorant and said to a girl, go in the kitchen, make, yo, go into your husband's kitchen, go into your husband's kitchen and do them dishes. To try and act like this is, like, you know, the second coming of the Antichrist is so disingenuous because this is a nothing. At the end of the day, nobody got hurt. So I don't know. Oh my god, my inventory's a mess. But anyways, nobody got hurt. So to act like this is some injustice against women, it, it it's so disingenuous. Like I can't I can't like emphasize how disingenuous this shit is. But okay, besides that, besides how disingenuous this is, you know what? Let's you know what? I can get being mad or whatever, right? Even because like if I was actually, I, I've had some. I, I don't know. I'm still not mad about half the stuff that's been said to me online. But, like, I don't know. I Yeah, I guess I can't really get being mad at it. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, I move on with my life. And this doesn't ruin my experience for me. 
at least in my opinion. Toxicity on like on in online video games doesn't ruin the experience for me. So I don't know. And I think like another big thing about this too is like this is like this whole situation kind of showed me how disingenuous people on Twitter are. Like I already knew that Twitter folk were all like really disingenuous people who know nothing about what they talk about. And you know what? To be fair, that's kind of me to an extent. But not, like, not nearly as bad as Twitter people. But, like, you know, you get the point, right? Twitter people, Twitter users usually aren't the brightest souls ever. But it's whatever. But, like, this kind of showed me, like, how far it's gone. A lot of people who are complaining about I show speed, and it's another reason why, you know, I kind of have an issue, is, like, they obviously don't play video games. They don't interact with, like, people who do play video games either. Right, and now I'm not saying like you have to be some sort of edgy edge lord who who hates women, you know, to play video games or whatever. But like, if you played video games, you'd know that this is like this isn't a rare occurrence. This isn't a rare occurrence, right? So yeah, I don't know. This whole situation is just weird, and like I don't know, it's just weird. And I wanted to actually before you know. I wanted, well, well, okay, continuing on, I wanted to, um, I wanted to, uh, show you guys a couple of videos about, or not videos, tweets about this situation, right, that I found very, um, interesting, let's just, let's just say that, yeah, interesting, I found them very interesting, alright, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so the first tweet that I want to show is by a YouTuber named or Some Ordinary Gamers, also known as Mudahar on Twitter, right? So I, I think uh, that this is, I, I picked this tweet out specifically because, I don't know, I have a lot of talking points on it. And I, it also perfectly shows the core issue of Twitter in general. And also, it's just like, it's such a dumb, like, it's just, it's so, I think it's dumb. So, here's, you know, he, this is what he said, you know, playing Valorant was a mistake. This dude's mom not swallowing was also a mistake. LMAO, right? So, whatever. And, you know, I'm going to just, if you haven't seen this beat clip, I don't know why I haven't, but I'm going to play it right now. And where she is? She's on top of the thing. Ten seconds no, left. Are you left? Ten seconds. Are you left? Fuck, man, you're man. Man. Oh, man. Come on, bruh. Man, you gotta hit those shots, man. Man, shut your stupid ass up, nigga. Who was you talking to, bruh? Shut your nerd ass up, bruh. I know how to play this game. Shut up, monkey. Shut up. Shut your bitch ass up. All right. All right. You're at the fight. Calm down. Damn, bruh. Shut up, bruh. I know how to play this game. I'm not a noob, all right? God damn. You don't know how to play the fucking game. What? What, bitch? Bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Am I, oh, no, 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 am I tripping? Am I tripping? Oh, wait, time out. It's a female talking to me right now. It's a fucking female talking to me. Get off the fucking game and do your husband dishes, bitch. Shut up. Fuck you. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Stop talking to me like that, nigga. Fuck is wrong with y'all, dog. I'm not one of these little lame ass Valorant nerds, nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all. Now fucking suck. Spike down mid. Fucking nerds on my fucking team. Like, bitch, like, who the fuck is you talking to, bitch? The fuck is wrong with you? Go, go do your life game. Last player standing. Fuck out of here. Ass, ass. Y'all are pure ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. ass. Alright, so you saw the speak clip, right? And you know what? Guy was being toxic, you know what I'm saying? So, one of the reasons why I picked this tweet out specifically, my first talking point on it, is because Mudahar is like, how old is Mudahar, bro? This guy's, I, like, don't quote me on this, right? I'm just doing a little bullshit YouTube video. I'm pretty sure this guy's over 30, right? This guy's over 30, making fun of a 17-year-old kid, right? And you know what? He has all right to do that. Guy put himself online, so Mudahar can make fun of him, right? That's fine. But what I find very interesting is that he's trying to insult Speed by saying his mom's mistake was not swallowing, 
because speed was insulting women. And all I have to ask is, how does this rectify the situation? Like, these people uh, do not think. They don't think. They don't think to actually prevent issues and to solve problems. And it's one of the reasons why I don't like Twitter. You, you have to be a, fu- you have to be a brainlet. You have to be some sort of dumbass to think that insulting a person helps them not insult other people. Like, dude, I can't, I, where, where, where was the thinking? The lapse in judgment over like everybody in this situation, especially Jack L- or Jake Lucky. Like, dude, this, this utter loser, bro. Like, come on. You wanna, you wanna be making this like, Virtue signaling as fuck tweet. Like, oh, my... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, whoa. That was random. But look at Jack Lucky's tweet. I I, I, now, I, I now understand why Valorant tweet or Valorant cues are so unbelievably toxic. You got one of the most popular streamers on YouTube, I show speed, saying crap like this and getting nothing but praise and laugh. Crap is whack. What, for one? Bruh. Why? Like, Yeah. His fan base likes the toxicity. Of course. Like, are you dumb? Of course he's going to get praise and respect for it. Because that's what his fans want. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? You, in your opinion, it might not be respectable. Which is fine. And in my opinion, I don't find your any of your actions respectable either. Trying to fucking farm Twitter likes. And create Twitter drama. About I show speed. I don't really find that respectable. Because like... This is what, this is what gaming, this is like an actual core part of gaming, is the toxicity. A lot of people play video games for the toxicity. And that's just something, that's just, that is, like, that's a part of online games. And I think it's fine if someone wants to play a game to be toxic. I'd much rather them, like, play games to be toxic than, like, do it anywhere else, to be honest. But that's, like, that's, that's another side, whatever. Toxicity in video games is a core part of it, and to, and I actually just think you're probably never going to get rid of it. You're just not. People will be toxic as long as they're able to, you know, not, like, as long as there's some sort of disconnect, which is fine. But, like, to try and dogpile I show speed or whatever, like, to try and blame him for Valorant cues being toxic, like, Valorant has always been a toxic game. Riot games have... Oh, Riot games are known to be some of the most toxic game. No, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, let me correct myself. Riot games are known to be the most toxic games out there. There's no disputing that. League of Legends is known to be one of the worst games to play if you're not, like, if you can't handle toxicity. And it's fine. But, like... To try and act like, you know, Speed somehow magically created the secret formula. Speed was Speed was in the Jimmy Neutron lab trying to trying to mix carbon, estrogen, and, and all these different chemicals to create toxicity in video games is so absurd. And like, and it's just so dumb. It's just so dumb. Especially like his follow up tweet. Like, oh, what? Bitch, is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Get off the game and do your husband dishes. Like, bro, if I don't get why people want to, like, what is it called? I don't get why people, like, want to act like toxicity online is, like, it's is harmful. I like this tweet. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know why people want to, like, act like this stuff is harmful. Because it isn't. And, like, if you actually are offended by what people say online, like, you need help. Honestly, like, that's not normal. This stuff shouldn't matter to you that much. Who cares? Like, I don't, I couldn't, like, I don't want to say it, bro, but I couldn't imagine being this soft. I couldn't imagine being this soft, bro. I couldn't imagine being this soft. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is how you know people on Twitter don't go outside, bro. People on Twitter don't live outside of Twitter. Like, they just don't. Because they think that this is the most harmful thing ever. And, and, and they're, and they're dumbasses too. Like, I, in no way, shape, or form would I ever want to solve a problem with, like, anybody by insulting them. 
Like, I don't, how, how do you think that's gonna do anything? You have to, Jesus, where, where's the correlation, bro? Where's the correlation? Where's any thinking? And, like, I don't want to make it seem like Mudahar is the only person doing this, because, no, that would be disingenuous on my part. Every, like, a bunch of people are doing it. We can, like, scroll through here for a bit. Speed has apologized to the clip. Oh, uh, I don't think anyone really cares about an apology. You, you people are Twitter. Oh, this kind of behavior borders on domestic violence? Like, 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 no bitches? No bitches? What? Oh, oh, hell nah, bro. Hell, ain't no way some nigga with pink bubblegum hair is, is gonna be like, this is domestic violence, bro. My nigga. Was Speed playing with his wife? This isn't... Like, no woman is being emotionally... Oh my god, dude. No woman is being... No, there is no emotional violence here. There isn't... There isn't any emotional violence here. This isn't a real problem. This is not a real problem, my guy. Like... Oh my god. Oh, this man has no damsels too, bro. You all this fuck and like get off of Twitter, bro. Now I'm going back to this photo. I need to roast you. Bro, how old are you, bro? How old are you on Twitter talking about emotional violence? My nigga, bro, get a life. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, look at look at your big ass forehead too. Look at like a satellite dish, bro. Hey, man, I'll never, ever claim to be the most good-looking nigga on the block, bro, but, like, there ain't no way you could caught me out here as, like, a 50, 60-year-old man out here on Twitter talking about emotional violence, bro. Take care of your grandkids, bro. Oh, my gosh. Get a life, bro. Get off the internet, dog. This place ain't for you. Jesus. There's a female talking to me. Oh, yeah, I want to look at this one, too. Wait, is that actually speed? Yo, speed got mad game, bro. Speed got mad game. Speed got mad game. But anyways, yeah, there, there, there's a reason. Yeah, look at, look at this, look at this man's, bro. Like, like, nah, G. Uh, uh. There ain't no way you could be looking like Mudahar's long lost cousin talking about, oh, uh, trying to make fun of a nigga because he's saying do females talk to, or is a female talking to me. There ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way, dog. And, like, you can see, like, you can see, you know, people are trying to be like, oh, Speed isn't funny. Oh, he, he's so sad. Oh, my God. So, like, like I said, you know, like, obviously, Mudahar is not the only one trying to insult Speed. It's all of Twitter. And that's why I think all of Twitter are a bunch of disingenuous you know people who like don't have lives and need to like do something with themselves like don't get me wrong i'll never ever claim that like you know speed did the right thing or whatever of course it's toxic but like these people need to stop living on twitter and realize that like reality and the real life is much more than just speed saying go do some dishes and if you disagree with me then you're probably a no life loser who you know you need to get you some bitches and uh bye